Uh, so my name is Amy Leverton. Um, I am the uh, owner and founder of uh, Denim Dudes. So that's, uh, I guess, I'm an author of the book Denim Dudes, but also a consultancy company. And I work with Kingpins um, every season to create the trends for the season. This is spring, summer 19 that you're looking at. And uh, we have four key stories for the season. Um, we're over in the boutique bazaar zone. And in Boutique Bazaar, we are um, exploring the Middle East and North Africa zones. Uh, we're definitely looking at, um, I guess there's a renewed interest in a lot of, uh, I guess, Middle Eastern countries simply because people, I think, are always attracted to things that are, say, in the news or that are, you know, I guess, very uh, topical. And I think it's probably come from the, the Trump ban last year. Uh, the youth really kind of revolted against that and really, you know, explored that, those kind of typefaces, those kind of like taboo uh, countries a little bit more, um, almost as a kind of uh, positive reaction to, to Trump's negativity. Um, and then this season, uh, we've definitely seen that develop um, and it sort of hit the more boutique market, the older market a little bit. So it's kind of like sun faded textiles, sort of desert inspired shades and colors. Um, you know, these beautiful patchwork designs and remnant repair and all of that stuff. So this is this story is the most, I guess, true vintage story out of all of them. Um, and I guess it's the most commercial as well. Some beautiful details in there, I really love it. So uh, the next trend behind me is called Denim Dads. And that is, I guess, it does what it says on the tin. It's very much talking about like dad style and anti-fashion. And that's come from, say, uh, companies like Vetmont, Balenciaga, that are tapping this sort of post-normcore, very ordinary, everyday style. So it's almost like anti-fashion and anti-trend. Um, so that's one of the stories that I, I guess I'm mostly attracted to because it's so gross that it's kind of full circle cool again. Um, so with that one, it's very all about practical uh, shapes, simple shapes, also practical fabrics. So it's about um, maybe technical advances as well, uh, reflective uh, fabrics or moisture wicking or uh, rainproof uh, fabrics as well. So that's a very practical story. Um, the next one is called Summer Goth. Again, this is quite an ugly story, and it's interesting this season. Um, I very much noticed for the, not for the first time, it's been creeping up a little bit, but especially this season, the, the, the more youth-driven trends are definitely inspired by what's ugly. So it's kind of like this anti-fashion movement where um, with, with the Denim Dad story and also with Summer Goth, it's looking very much at the, the more directional, ugliest stuff. So with Summer Goth, we're kind of exploring late 90s, early 2000s, early noughties uh, looks. Um, and that's definitely a movement. I think that's coming from uh, the fact that the market currently is very flooded with so much choice. There's so much out there, so many brands, so much stuff that actually what's gaining attention is the stuff that's kind of horrible or uncomfortable to look at, which is very interesting. Um, and then the final story is my favorite. Um, it's corporate craft, and it's looking at workwear and utility wear and uniform wear, um, but through a very youthful young lens. So it's kind of like high color fashion, uh, paint splatter, um, it's about branding, but in your face branding and kind of like uh, bootleg well-known brand names and fonts and things like that. It's, it's my favorite because it's some um, very lovely high summer story and it's, you know, very fun and lighthearted. And, um, and it also has its roots in denim because it's sort of talking about workwear. But again, it's very youthful and very, very directional. So yeah, they're the four trends. Um, I would say, yeah, Corp Craft is, is one of my favorite, but I would say uh, the two stories, Denim Dance and Summer Goth, really sum up the, the return to um, this kind of bad taste uh, to gain attention in this attention economy that we now live in, which is the most interesting, override, uh, overarching theme, I think, for the season.